A civil lawsuit has residents of an island neighborhood scratching their heads about a new low-income housing development. They say it doesn't really fit in with the island and may not be the right use of tax dollars. Trevier Gonzalez has the story. From a, a planning standpoint, it, it, it makes no sense. It should be equal across all of the homes on the island. Although these houses being constructed appear to be structurally sound, neighbors along Palmyra Avenue are frustrated that the look of the structure doesn't match the area. Protective covenants through construction standards and other restrictions. And, and that's why folks pay dues. Uh, however, that, that clearly did not happen in, in this case. An injunction is being heard in Nueces County District Court. Attorney Karen Connolly lives right behind one of the houses being developed. She's representing herself. Several organizations are listed for the defense in this case. While they do state it may be inconsistent with the plaintiff's aesthetic, they respond saying it is, quote, simply not a valid basis for preventing defendants from moving forward with the approved project. In their response, they also state this is a multi-million dollar project sponsored and approved by the state of Texas to build homes for those affected by Hurricane Harvey. These homes that are part of the Hurricane Harvey recovery area will be some of the first homes to be damaged or destroyed in the next Hurricane Harvey-like events. Resident Zach Pickett says the neighborhood's frustration could have been avoided. All we want as homeowners is literally full disclosure and transparency from our HOA on how these projects were allowed, and we have received none at this point. While it's uncertain which way the case will go, the area isn't opposed to more islanders. I think the island is very open uh, to diversity and, um, you know, we have all different incomes here. Um, there's still a number of homes that are very affordable on the island, so I definitely think uh, it's more aesthetic. Because to this neighborhood, that's special. I think it's important and it's important to kind of keep the feel of the island. Trevier Gonzalez, Chris 6 News. Well, court proceedings for this case are set to continue on Thursday.